Hey, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Today we're in this ranch home and a ranch is very much affected by the attic because all the living space, being only one story house, has the attic right over it. And this house was too hot in the summer and too cold in the winter. So the homeowner uh, had the attic insulated with blown fiberglass insulation over the fiberglass bats. Sounds reasonable. Here's the problem. Blown fiberglass is very loose and the R value is uh, not as good as say blown cellulose. And with a thermal imaging camera, we can see that in the summertime, this ceiling was still 95 degrees on a summer afternoon when the roof heats up from the sun and the roof might get to 140 or 150 degrees, the roof shingles, that heat radiates down into the attic. And then that insulation wasn't stopping that heat flow down to heat these drywall ceilings, which then radiate their heat down into the living space, making everybody uncomfortable, making the air conditioning run a lot longer and raising our electric bill. So um, if the blown fiberglass doesn't stop heat flow from the roof downward, well, how about the winter time? We know that we're losing heat from the living space upward through that blown fiberglass. So even though there's a whole lot of blown fiberglass up there, uh, the homeowner wanted to do something to augment this situation, to help out. And uh, what we're going to do, rather than rip it all out and start over, we're going to uh, make a uh, not so great situation uh, better by blowing a layer of blown cellulose over the fiberglass. One of the things a ridge vent does for us is let out humidity before it condenses into condensation and rots the roof. But another thing that a ridge vent does for us is in conjunction with soffit ventilation is it lets out excess heat from the radiant heat from the, the hot shingles radiating down into the attic. Now, ridge vents over the years can really get clogged and uh, you, we may have a material like this which is a, a matrix of uh, nylon fibers that allows air to flow through, through the edge of it. But these ridge vents over time can get clogged with dust from the air escaping uh, out of the attic, uh, entering and then escaping. It, it has pollen and dust in it, and it can clog this matrix of uh, airspace. You can also get insects and bees and so forth clogging your ridge vent. So one of the things we're doing to uh, help cool this attic in the summertime is replacing the ridge vent so it's nice and clean and fresh and open and allows uh, better airflow. And we can see that the bath fan is vented out properly through the roof, uh, could be vented through the gable end as well. Uh, but make sure that bath fan is vented outside. Most of them are just left blowing into the attic and all the warm, humid air from your shower will condense in your cold attic and cause mold and rot. Here we are in the attic and we have a sea of blown fiberglass insulation. Sure does look pretty. Before you insulate an attic, you have to air seal, uh, put boxes on the can lights, make sure the bathroom fan is vented out, make sure the soffits ventilation is not gonna be blocked, uh, make sure there's a, a, a dam around the chimney. There's so many things that have to be done before you can't just go into an attic and start blowing insulation. Um, and the thing about uh, the fiberglass is that now it's blocking you know, access to do all those things. Um, but this is blown fiberglass and you get some benefit, but as you can see, it's very fluffy. And if I push this down, you can see, you know, a big crater opens up in the fiberglass. You know, insulation is supposed to capture air. I mean, that's how it works, but there's such a thing as being really too airy and too fluffy. And, uh, we have soffit vents, we have ridge vents and the air that's circulating through the attic to vent the attic. Uh, can penetrate this insulation. I mean, you can see uh, how the just light comes through it. It's so, so light. And it's just not giving us uh, quite as much R value as cellulose would. So we're going to cap this off with three or four inches of blown cellulose. And cellulose is denser and it'll put a bit more of an airtight cap. Uh, I don't want to say airtight, but air resistant cap. Uh, on top of the fiberglass so that the uh, air that we have ventilating this attic doesn't wind wash the uh, insulation uh, as much. And we're gonna help to recover some of the promised R value from the fiberglass and add R value from the cellulose. 
Well, we've accomplished our customers' goals of keeping the ceiling and the living space cooler in the summer and keeping the house warmer in the winter with this cellulose insulation that's much denser than blown fiberglass. We've added ventilation to let the excess heat out. If you have a house that you'd like to make more comfortable in the wintertime and cooler in the summertime and save money on your fuel and electric bills, call Dr. Energy Saver. We'd love to help you. And remember, the work we do pays for itself.